So right now, when it comes to SHIB, it may seem like we're taking two steps forward and one step back. And, and we kind of are. We're slowly working our way to the upside. You know, we've talked about the charts. We're, we're in this, this long-term uptrend, which is fine. And to some people, it may seem like we're taking two steps forward and three steps back. Do not get it confused, okay? SHIB is moving to the upside. Basically, anywhere you compare on this long-term trend, we're, we're following it, Okay. We're going through retracements in the market right now. BTC pulled back out of that high 52K range. We actually dropped all the way down to the high $50,000 range. So SHIB pulled back along with it. And we're retesting our opportunity box. We're retesting our long-term trend line. We're testing our moving averages. These things happen in the charts. We didn't get our push above uh, four zeros, one zero, like we hoped we would. So right now we're just kind of bouncing around and, and it's looking like we should try to make this stab here sometime in the very short term, especially if the market continues to take steps forward. Now, I will say this, when it comes to SHIB, it, it has definitely gotten harder to make content, right? There's there's less, I don't want to say less exciting things to talk about because SHIB is, you know, renounced, it, it's decentralized, so there's nothing really changing from that aspect. The SHIB ecosystem is doing their own thing, and it's kind of hard to get excited about something that's not focused on SHIB Inu and, and detracting uh, attention away from SHIB, right? But when it comes to SHIB, what we need to remember is that we're, we're getting into some of the best times in crypto, the times where SHIB truly gets explosive, where it is the most exciting thing. These times, guys, they're they're typically not that exciting. They're typically kind of boring, all right? We get some pumps here and there. Typically, BTC leads the way. Ethereum follows. Big alts kind of follow after that. We're kind of still in that phase two. We're, we're slowly working our way into phase three where some of these top alts like SHIB can start to gain some ground. We're not there quite yet, but we're very, very close. And although it may seem hard, it may seem difficult because your bag really hasn't moved in you know the last couple of years here, you got to remember, we have to go through these market cycles. All right, I think I've talked about this before. It takes a very long time, all right? There, <coughs> excuse me, there are two years where prices frankly suck, where it seems like the market is never coming back, where it seems like an asset is dead in the water. But I will say SHIB is, is far from that. We still have hundreds of millions of dollars of daily volume. You can see SHIB at $234 million on the 24 hours, actually quite a bit, okay? Quite, quite a bit higher than what we have been seeing. And again, this uptrend is what I'm watching. If SHIB corrects and comes back down here and we get back down to this, you know, 5080 range, then we have some questions, okay? SHIB is in the process of setting higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And right now we should, again, end up somewhere up here if SHIB is to continue on this trend that we've been building, okay? But they take time to play out. That's that's the biggest thing. These times, they're really not that hard anymore. Right now, it's just kind of sit and wait, wait for the, the trends to play out, wait for us to get past the halving, wait for us to get into alt season. It's, it's just a lot of waiting. During these times, I've been adding to my bag, accumulating, prepping for the bull market cycle because the most explosive times in, in charts, they're they're not right now, okay? But they're coming very soon. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. It may seem like we're not making any headway, but we are. You just got to give it time. Got to be patient. Yes, I know we've been patient for several years now, but remember, let the cycles play out. We're getting there. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Have a great day. Catch you in the next one. Take care.